What do you do if you've epically failed in the worst way online? How do you protect your privacy when you're giving away or selling your old computers? And how do you clean a hard drive that has many different types of partitions? Way Weekly. I'm the host, Steve Smith, aka Z Axis, and yes, you may call me that. And today, we're going to be talking about protecting your privacy, getting rid of viruses, and just basically getting rid of all the data on your hard drive so you can start anew. So, as usual, if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, and or stories, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com. I do keep show notes for every episode, including the sources and the downloads. For every episode I talk about if there's any downloads so you go to tqaweekly.com se3ep25 that's a direct link to the show notes page for this episode where you'll be able to download dban and actually see again in much better quality the picture I'll be showing during the show so the questions I asked before the intro video what do you do if you have epically failed in the worst way online one of my friends has recently I'll get to that what can you do to protect your privacy when you are giving away or selling a used computer that you have previously owned and stored personal documents you don't want people to see that it does include photos of certain things that may be compromising and basically how do you clean up a hard drive when you have had singular or multiple partitions and you just want to start a new completely completely fresh so in order to prevent issues you need to be smarter about the way you format hard drives it may look harder, it will take longer than basically quick format, but the difference between a full format and a quick format is pretty simple. Quick format only removes the information from the partition table, whereas a full format tends to remove the data from the hard drive, although it can still be technically recoverable at this point. So the best way to completely wipe the hard drive is to nuke it. Basically, things like a DOD 8 past formatting or any of that kind of stuff. Now, trying to explain how to do all that is not really worth any of our time. So, there is a program absolutely free called Darren, Derek's Boot and Nuke, also called DBAN. You go to dban.org, download the ISO, burn it to an optical disk like a DVD, pop it in and instead of spending the next 10 minutes trying to explain to you how to get it to work type in the following command auto nuke it's even written on their screen it will do something basically that may take many 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 hours but basically it will wipe it clean it writes numerous times to the hard drive making it impossible to recover anything from the partition table, from the master boot record, or any of the data surface of the hard drive. I have successfully used this program numerous times. So why would you need such a tool? So that thing I got talked about at the beginning is try scareware on for size. One of my friends was recently infected with scareware and yes, her bill to clean the hard drive was intensively expensive since I had to do it twice. So basically what happens is all your data is encrypted and they threaten legal action against you in her case in the next 24 hours if you do not pay up. This is of course a scam that many people fall into. Don't be a, how do we say, victim yourself. So what you're gonna do is if ever you see a screen like this or similar, you're gonna grab that D-band disc you're gonna make after this episode you're gonna shove it in your optical drive and you're gonna type in auto nuke, end of story. Do not attempt any recovery of data. It's all infected by this point. So basically, this is why I've done this episode so I can even explain to her not to do this ever again. And it's also a benefit of having a tool that can remove all your personal data from a hard drive and also save you from one of the worst viruses on the internet. Next week, I'll be talking about content delivery networks. So even my own podcast website used this. 
I'll talk to you about the benefits of having this for speed, reliability, and security, and much more reasons. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and have a great day. Thank you for listening to TQA Weekly. Show your support by liking this episode, subscribe to get our latest episodes as they come out, and share with friends and family who may benefit from such a show as this. You may send us your questions, comments, suggestions, and or stories to ask at tqaweekly.com. For our show notes, links to our Android application, alternate means of subscribing to our show, and information on joining our weekly newsletter, head over to tqaweekly.com. Stay safe and online, and have a great day.